I did find some fun things out of the new bins. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. Yep, you know where I'm at. I'm at the bins, woohoo. Super excited, I love coming here. Um, I'm two hours after it opened. I had some errands to run this morning at home, but I made it, so let's go see what we can find. We made it, woohoo. I love it here. <laughs> Hey guys, before we go in, I wanted to let you guys know, um, if you like these type of videos right now, please go subscribe to my channel. Um, hit that bell button, that way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. And I'm really, really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers because as soon as I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away this very rare bullseye pattern Pyrex dish for free as a gift from me to you. So as soon, and I'm gonna pay for shipping too. So as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers, guys, I will be giving away this dish for free. So go subscribe. Please share my channel with all your friends. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna start at the glass bins, but um, again, they looked all picked over. Most of the time they are, oh, it's broken. Most of the time they are, unless they're brand new. Sometimes you can get lucky. All right, let's go to the other side. All right, we're on the other side of the glass bins now and like I said, they're pretty much all picked over. I don't even know when they brought these out. Probably yesterday, I would assume, or the day before. We don't get glass bins every day. I wish we did, that would be cool. That's from Italy. If I'm being super, super picky um, today, actually, I'm just looking for a few items. Oh, it's, I knew it was probably missing one of its little feet. That's cute. But yeah, I spent a little bit of money yesterday at the flea market, so. All right, that's it for the glass bins. Let's go move on to the other bins. Brandon's here from Heartland Picker. <laughs> Check out his channel. He's Heartland Picker on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. This one's all scratched to heck. I'm gonna go start down here. He said the new bins were these ones over here, so I'm gonna start over here. See if we can find anything good. but I was late getting here. But you never know, you know, cause what I want, some people might not want or might not know what it is. Everybody likes different things, which is cool. Stethoscope.
I'm looking for, this is like a placemat, but I'm looking for braided rugs like this that are in good condition. See if I can find some of those today. I'm gonna keep digging. I came over here to this frame and said these are the new bins. probably got here right at their lunch time when their workers are taking lunch. So they're probably not going to bring out new bins for a while. All right, I'm going to keep digging. Well, I was wrong. I got here right at the right time because they're taking away old ones. Woohoo! Hopefully I can find some good stuff in the new ones. Maybe some pixies. <laughs> we can only hope, right? Hello, Mrs. YouTuber. <laughs> All right, here are the new ones. Hopefully they bring out some good treasures in there. Catching my eye off the bat. Giant snowman. I did find some fun things out of the new bins. Cute things. Brandon found me a few things too, so let's keep digging. day of digging today guys my plan was to get up here right when they um oh that's like a turtle that went on a turtle shell dish but it's broken um my plan was to get up here right when they first opened today but that didn't work out unfortunately Oh, here's another, um, another Where's Waldo book. But we already have this one. Pretty sure we already have that one. Am I the only one that loves Where's Waldo books? God, I can barely get my cart through this. There's a little cowboy hat. All right. I'm gonna go over here. Just roam around and see if we can find anything good. This is 
my mom used to collect these. <laughs> you guys, you guys hear me say that a lot. I told you that she had a lot of different weird collections. She collected a lot of different things. It was a heavy wooden vase. It's made out of wood. I would assume they're probably taking away these bins next, maybe, or the ones over there. These look quite empty. Oh. So I just found these vintage posters in the bins, which I like picking up vintage posters. Look who it is. It's Luke Perry, Dylan off of 90210, but unfortunately it's ripped. This one's not ripped, but I have no idea who this guy is. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I don't know if I should pick it up or not. I guess I'll just look at it and see if see if I can look him up if, if he's worth anything. He's probably not. a big old tool. Bam! Wow. Pow. <laughs> That's me the old Batman. Oh my goodness. I'm just not finding hardly anything at all. This is not what I wanted. I was hoping to find just a couple good good pieces. But today is a tough day digging. Broken. Broken. Sometimes it just seems like when I, um, I get up here late, you know, then I have it like an off day. That's just me though. Look at this old Barbie house. That's pretty cool. It's heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Here's an old purse. <laughs> I'm trying today, you guys. Trying my hardest. I'm just not getting anywhere. Oh. Isn't this the cutest thing? It's 1986 Fisher Price piano. It doesn't work the best, but I mean, all but that key. <laughs> oh, can you tell I'm getting bored? I'm just not finding a whole lot today. I don't know what's going on. Like there hasn't hardly been any, any vintage. In any of the new bins. I haven't been recording a lot, but I'm like, do I want to stay or do I want to um, go try to hit up some other thrift stores that are around here? I just don't know. They just brought out glass bins and I was able to grab a few things. I don't know what I'm gonna grab. That's such a cute kitty cat bank. Um, he's funny. He's freaking a Dr. Pepper. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. These are really awesome. I love these. And I did find a pixie. He's new, though. He's not old. So, I don't know. Finding a couple things. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay here for, though, because, um, Luke already called, and he's off of work. And plus, I'm just really not finding a whole lot. Cooking with soup. I mean, not as much as normal. I mean, I'm finding a few things. That's heavy. A few things. So, I'm glad I... Ooh, I'm glad I looked this over real well. But I'm not going to get it. I'm going to put it back because it's got a big old crack right there. So unfortunately, the kitty cat bank's got to go back. All right, this will probably be my last row. They are going to take away these old ones and bring out hopefully good vintage goodies, treasures. Hopefully, we can only hope, right? So I did just find this. It's vintage rabbit ears. And I know um, that some of these can sell for decent money. And it doesn't weigh a lot, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the chance on that. I've got a few things in my cart, but not much. So I'm gonna take a chance on it, because <laughs> it's kinda cool. But oh, I'm weird. Howard Miller alarm clock, pocket watch. I don't know what the heck that is, but it's not old, it's plastic. This is plastic. these empty ring boxes. I wonder if there was jewelry in them. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Okay, they're bringing out new bins, but I just looked these up, and some antennas sell for quite a bit of money, but some do not, and I don't want to pay for the weight, <laughs> so I'm going to leave that antenna behind. Hopefully we can find some new stuff out of the new bins right here that they're bringing out. But we never know. All right, we gotta wait for them to say go. I'm not seeing anything that is catching my eye right off top. You got another road, go ahead. I did just find this super, super cool piece and I would get it if it wasn't broken. Cause isn't that neat? It's like wood carved elephants all the way around but the tusks are broken on one and then the whole top is like busted off. That's pretty neat though. I found a few things in here. I stopped recording because it's hard to record. I found a watch too. That's cool. That's a nice one in the box. Yeah, I do. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'll show you the one that I just found right here. This one. Did you see? Did I show? Oops, sorry. Did I show it to you? Who's that? Who's my boy? 
Swiss. I don't know. They said it was Swiss. Well, I'm going to take a chance. I don't know much about jewelry or watches, but might as well take a chance. She's cute. She says New Orleans. And then I found a cast iron mermaid. So, I uh, found some good stuff. I think I'm going to go check out, though. Well, I told you guys I didn't have much. I do got a couple little bit of heavy things in there, but nothing too bad. So, let's go weigh the cart and check out. Sure, I had 11 pounds, which makes my total $18. So stay tuned for the haul. Okay, well, we made it back from the bins. It was a little bit of an off day. I'm just going to include the haul with the video because I didn't record a whole lot and I didn't get a whole lot. I only ended up spending $18, which is for me is not very much, but I'm gonna show you right now everything that I picked up today. Okay, so the first thing, let's get this out of the way because it is breakable. I put it in its own sack. Um, is this awesome vintage billiards mirror. I think that is so cool. It needs cleaned up, obviously. It's dusty and stuff, but I just thought that was a really neat piece. I like how it says billiards on there. I like the writing. And it is a mirror. It wasn't a frame, but the frame was all horrible, horrible and falling apart. So I left that behind and just got the mirror. I'll find a frame for it. And then I did pick up this brand new, never opened Busilla um, tablecloth. Look at it. Oh, isn't that gonna be so awesome once somebody makes it? Tablecloth and napkins, I guess. Never been opened, brand new. Super awesome. So I got that. I picked up this to throw in a linen bag. Uh, they're vintage Santa overalls that somebody made. They're like felt and lace. And if you had a vintage Santa, this would go good with it. So um, I, it doesn't weigh barely anything. I thought it was super cute. And like I said, I'm gonna put it in a linen bag, so. And crazy enough, I was able to find a pixie. This is a new one, but I don't care. Um, I like the pixies. I think they're so cute. And you know what? Someday he will be vintage. So just not now. But you can make him a little knee hugger. And he's stinking adorbs. So of course I picked him up. And then I did find this old doll. She is old. And cool. Now, I swear when I picked her up, she had both of her shoes, and now she's missing one, which it's just like a red vinyl. I don't know. But she's an older doll. I like the way her hair's done, and she's really neat. I didn't look to see if I could find any markings on her. I would think she's probably from like the 80s or so. I can't get her clothes off right now, but she's, she's cute. And then this vintage, well, I don't know. I think it's probably from the 90s. It might have a date on it somewhere. I would say probably from the 90s. Um, Kool-Aid tin. And it has like different advertisements for Kool-Aid on it. And then look at the vintage Kool-Aid packets. I thought that, I thought that was just so cool. And just a cool, neat piece of vintage tin. Well, like I said, I don't know how vintage, but. And then two old um, decks made in the USA of flashcards. I'm going to stick those in like a grab bag. This is so stinking cute and adorable. I love picking up these kitschy Halloween items. So much fun. So I did pick up the cute little witchy kitty cat plushy. So cute. <laughs> and I did find a little cute owl. A little ceramic owl. It is marked on the bottom. Somebody said jolly. <laughs> cute. 
No chips or cracks, so I picked it up. It's just little. Don't barely weigh anything. And then this vintage brush. Ooh, not dropped it. I don't know why I'm having trouble holding things lately. I don't know what's going on. It's pretty cool. A little strawberry shortcake figurine. And a little strawberry shortcake doll. Cute. I picked up two vintage Buddy L. They're marked Buddy L on the bottom of them, both of them. Gracie, stop. They are marked Buddy L on the bottom of them, so I thought they were pretty cool. This is a Jeep. That's cool. I thought those were fun. A bag of buttons, a bag of vintage buttons. Let's put them in the founder's Ziploc baggie. There's all kinds of different ones in there. So I thought that was cool. A little stone elephant. A little vintage um, coin purse type thing or cigarette case. I don't know which one it is, but it's in really good condition. I like picking these little things up to add to, um, you know, treasure bags. I like to do treasure bags. And this is super, super cool. This is a thermometer for a baby bath. Baby bath. See? It's a thermometer, a plastic thermometer for your baby bath. That is neat. And it says made in Japan on the back of it. Made in Japan. So that's pretty cool. Um, this vintage Florida tray. I love it. I don't know what type of metal it's made out of. It is some sort of lightweight metal. But I thought that was pretty cool. I like it. See, that's got the alligator down there. And these are super cool. I really like the lines of these. These are mid-century candle holders. They are metal with the felt on the bottom. I like the lines, like I said, I think they're super cool. Very stylish. I picked up a mermaid, a cast iron mermaid. She's kind of like a hook. You can, her tail's like a hook, but I like these. I love mermaids and I thought that was super cool. I did pick up this watch. Now I already had a chance to look it up. I seen one sold on eBay for 50 bucks. I'll put comps up here so you guys can see, but that's pretty awesome. That's a nice watch. It is ESO Swiss. Not vintage, but it's cool. I didn't want to leave it behind. And then this is super cute. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments below. See how it has the hooks? Like, I don't know what it is. It is metal and it's a bulldog. It is a bulldog. I thought that was so cool. I have no idea what it is, but it's cool. And then this piece is really, really neat. Now, okay, so it's carved wood. As you can see, it's elephants right? And it's for books. So you fold these up and then it is a, oh, I need two hands for this. It's a slider. Look, it slides out. So you can put it like if you have more books to sit on it, or if you don't have that many books, you can squeeze, slide it in. You can slide it out or slide it in. Ooh, or slide it in. It's all wood carved. It is has its original sticker on the bottom. Um, handcrafted in India, Arcana, handcrafts. I don't know, but it's super amazing. I love its wood carved design and it's really nice. I thought that was super cool. 
And then this um, vintage keychain for, what is that, November? Your birth month of November, I think. It is an older keychain. So and then it's got the birth dates on the back. Lucky birthstone. And then it tells you the months and the days. Or the months and the stones, I mean. And then I picked up these two pieces. I actually took them out of a nasty case. Um, this one, I need to see if I can get that off. There's something stuck on there, but this is super cool. Look at that lady. So it's kind of, it sits, it's a metal thing and it sits, it'll sit like that, but it's also a mirror. It's, it's really, really, really dirty. It needs cleaned up. I started to clean it up right there, as you can see, but totally cool. And then this was the other piece in there. It's just like a little powder container. I like the design on there. I thought that was super cool. And then Greg found me her. She is a vintage doll, a sleepy eye doll. Her eyes open and close and she says New Orleans on the bottom of her dress. I like it. I think it's, I like the color, the red polka dot, and I just think that's a lot of fun. And I did pick up one book because it caught my eye. The witches, all the witches on there. The rabbi and the 29 witches. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. It's copyright date is... 1976, 1976. And then this, had, this weighed two pounds. I took it out of my cart to, just to see, but I couldn't leave it behind because it is so much fun. It's so much fun. It's a candle. This is a candle. It is an ape candle. Look at the plastic eyes. And it's drinking a Dr. Pepper, you guys. It is drinking a Dr. Pepper while fishing. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's a candle. It is a candle. I think that's just so much fun. It's got felt on the bottom of it. And it's just kitschy and fun and weird like me. And then... Is this the last thing in here? The last thing that I picked up was a mermaid little plate trade type thing. Um, I don't know when. Oh, it's melamine. Melamine. And it's a mermaid. So I just thought that was so cute. And it says dream. I just thought that was so cute and adorable. So that was my haul, guys. That was everything I got for $18. Like I said, it was kind of an off day. I didn't get there till way later. Um, it just didn't seem like they were bringing out a lot, a whole lot of vintage. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found today out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. Um, and every once in a while, I'll list on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Those links will also be in the description below as well. And then, but most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales. I host my live sales right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So you really want to make sure you're subscribed. Right now, go hit that bell button. That way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. Because a lot of the times I'll just feel like having a random pop-up live sale if I'm not doing anything. And those are a lot of fun. You don't want to miss those because that's where most of the stuff that you see me pick up is for sale. So... Um, make sure right now go like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.